let's look at some extra bit of information and some configuration for managing the ledgers. Now let's look at some technical changes, the difference between ERP and simple finance. So before data was stored in FAGL flex A, which is a new GL line item table and FAGL flex T, which is a new GL total table. However, going forward, all data will be stored in the Actoka table, which is the universal journal entry table. And there is a compatibility view already built in with the system. So that is FGLV underscore FAGL flex A. So this compatibility view will point to the Actoka table if there are any table referencing the FAGL flex A. Also, with regard to industry tables like data of new GL industry tables for public sector, which is the FMGL flex A or FMGL flex T for total stable. This of course FM you know is for funds management, which is under the public sector folder. So that data was stored previously in FMGL flex A or FMGL flex T. Now again is stored in ACDOCA because all the financial entry line item entries will all be stored in the ACDOCA tables. And there is a compatibility view which is V underscore industry, which is probably public sector A at the end if it's a flex A and if it's a flex because there's no total stable pointing so it will always be A which is the line item tables. So once again that will be V underscore public sector A. That is the compatibility table pointing to the ACTOCAR table if there are any programs referencing these old tables. Then data for new GL industry tables for joint venture accounting. So this is a public sector this is for joint venture accounting this is JVA. The old table was JVG flex A or JVG flex T again it's stored in the ACTOCAR table and data of customized new GL tables any new customized table which you have created earlier in your ERP 6 those data will again be pointed to the ACTOCA table and for any customized tables the compatibility view will be named as ZFGLV underscore GLTT underscore C and hash it will be in sequential number depending on when you have created your customized tables it will be 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on so this TT is for the total tables which is your customized new GL tables and GLSI is for your line item tables is specifically for your customized new GL tables. That's why it's starting with the Z over here. So you can easily identify these compatibility views are for your custom tables. Let's look at defining the journal entry ledger. So the SAP menu path is financial accounting new, financial accounting global settings new, ledgers, ledger and then you have the transaction define settings for journal entry ledger. Now here you can define your leading ledger, other ledgers as well as the appendix or the extension ledger. So let's execute this transaction and that brings you up to this screen. So the three levels which you discussed earlier are over here defining the ledger, define the company code settings and defining these accounting principles. These are the three levels. So we are the first level. By default, 0L is your leading ledger or you call it the standard ledger. You can, if you tick mark over here, that means that this will be the leading ledger. So we will not make any changes and we will use 0L as our leading ledger. Now you can create parallel ledgers if you want. So you just have to copy this and just take off the tick mark. So there are many parallel ledgers you can see. It can be all created as parallel ledgers. Now if you want to create an appendix ledger, in this selection, you must choose the appendix ledger option. 